Okay, what's up? Um, so this right here, this is postpartum setting. Um, and it's normal and it is what it is. This is my third pregnancy with having it. Um, for my fourth pregnancy in total. Anyways, um, so it is what it is. This is how I look. And 97% of the time. And I don't know if I was able to show how my like damaged area grew back. I don't know if you're able to see now, but um, I mean, it's been it's been years since, but um, my hair was able to recover. Uh, and but you know, it's always something. A lot. Another thing that a lot of people don't know is that people with locks have a lot of issues with them. But um, a lot of issues with them. But because of how dense looking it is um uh, it's not very evident but my hair it, it doesn't look very thick or thin now but it really is compared to many uh, people with locks that's why i'm able to do wigs braids crochet braids clearly not weave um and not um not lace uh braids and stuff like that but i'm pretty sure uh, and by the way, all this volume that I do have, the, the, the thicker it is now, where it appears now, is definitely because of childbirth, right? Like, these are not my normal density. The new hair that is coming in after my postpartum shedding is, this is how thin it actually is, right? But I've had uh, three children in four years, so, you know, but it does show. Here's a good example. So, my most recent birth, this is the thickness of that, right? Uh, this is a child that was born, the shedding of that, and this is a child that was born. So my three youngest that I've had in the four years are present in my hair. Oh yes, and I don't remember if I said anything. I did cut my hair December. So my hair was about tailbone waist length and I cut it uh, because um, the ends were really, really terrible. But again, a lot of people weren't able to tell because locks don't, they have to be really, really, really unhealthy to actually look unhealthy. I think it, unhealthiness is easier to determine in people who have um, uh, hair that is not locked. You have like a regular, even a, even you can camouflage uh, unhealthy hair in a puff, right? In a fro. But when you straighten it out, straight hair will really let you know what's really going on. Um, but yeah, so I cut it. Um, it's super short. It's like, super short. My locks. I'll insert a picture. Was um, in my butt crack. So super short now. And um, it's cool. Like I actually saw uh, a girl on here on YouTube with um, who has sister locks and they were super long and she cut it short and then grew it back out. And I'm like, that's cute for one because it'll be nice to have it all grow evenly. And um, I can play around with it a little bit more the shorter it is. You know who I also cut their hair? Their locks shorter, but not off. Chloe, well, she probably don't. Chloe Bailey, yeah. She, I noticed that she cut her locks and I was saying to my little friends, like, wow, she gone. She gonna take a ball off, but she hasn't. And I hope she doesn't because that is a wonderful representation for women who have lost 
but are still versatile and still do different things like because you know for some people who do have locks it is a spiritual journey and you know they're very careful about who goes in their hair which i understand i respect all of other people's philosophies and stuff like that and for other people uh it is just another way to see themselves right uh, i like how i look with different looks and um and being that i do have uh, two daughters i want them to know that you know you could have locks, you could have braids, you could have a relaxer, you could have a fro, you could have twist, bun, whatever. You're beautiful regardless. I wish that was the message, right? So anyway, so I'm coming to you. Puffy roots, I need to retwist it. I washed it a few days ago and it was itching really, really bad, which is always a sign to me that it is time to wash, right? But I didn't retwist it right away. Why? Because I got a lot of kids and I don't have a lot of time. Remember what I told you? Wow. Oh! Subscribe, okay? Subscribe. It's free. Bye-bye.